Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz with 0 seconds increment on Lee Chess. And during the game, I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, now let's quickly start off with the game and see how it goes, which pieces we get. Got the black pieces here and we're playing a much stronger opponent. I'll play the Karukan defense, which starts with c6, followed by d5, he takes, I take back. Uh, but the speed opponent is playing, he's pretty much aware of the Karukan lines. Can play a pawn to e3 now, e6 now. So I'll def define this structure in the center and now a6. Preventing bishop from coming to b5. Yes, place this uh, dark square bishop over there. I can place my knight on c6. Probably the knight now comes over to e5. So he doesn't do that. Uh, we can probably look forward to exchanging the bishops, maybe. Yeah, let's see if he takes. If he doesn't, we can take queen as well to c7. That's one of the ideas. This knight is not going to be pinned there. Mm. Let's go on with the knight. I want to take my knight to e4. Taking the exchange and then after he takes, I can take back for the bishop and it will be eyeing the king's side. And most likely he'll be castling. So, okay, so he gets the bishop in between now. Do I want, want to trade it right now or do I... Not really. Mm. Yeah, let's not trade for now. If knight over here, I take with the bishop, probably. Okay, gets it. Can't take with the knight, it comes with a fork otherwise. So either I have to take with the bishop or I have to let him be there. I think we can play a h5 here. The idea is if he takes now, I'll take with the pawn and open up the h file for the attack. Can be useful in the game. Knight is also going to e4. But probably there's just one defender, so that's the problem. Okay, now crucial time. Want to take with the knight or with the pawn? Uh, he hasn't castled yet. He might castle on the other side of the board as well. So we have to be careful here. Let's take with the knight only, because if he castle on the other side, then this pawn will also be a double pawn on the g file, probably not much helpful then. So knight, taking with the knight was a better option. The opponent has a bishop pair now, which can be useful if it's an open position. And looking at the position currently, uh, I will probably exchange one of the bishops here. So that he's left with not a pair of anything. Okay, let's take removing the pairs from the game. I have got to a knight pair now. He has a knight and a bishop after whatever he takes with. He takes with the pawn. So he will now probably look forward to castling on the queen side. Uh, in that case, I should keep my knight here, threatening to take on f2 some point of time. So let's take queen here uh, on it f f6 here attacking the pawn. Uh, we can trade off our knights as well here by taking. I get extra pawn there. So a couple of ideas there. If he pushes the pawn forward, I probably have only square remaining and he gains a pawn there. That's tricky. That can be problematic because this queen is now taking the Retrieval square for the knight, which was f6. Knight could have come here otherwise. Let's see if he was willing to push the pawn forward. I think that's the right move from him. Yep, that's what he does. Okay. Another option we have to come back. He takes a pawn. But if he does, we also take at the old point. Okay, he doesn't. Um, can I take this now? 
uh, can be tricky as well because then bishop over here gives a discover check to my king and then I can't even do anything about it. I have to be careful. Uh, can I take the knight over here? Attacking the pawn again with the other knight as well now. So a couple of three pieces now attacking in the center. Uh, plans of castling on the queen side as well. It looks fine enough. Time-wise, the game is pretty much equal, I would say. Okay, depends now. That weakens up his pawn structure, though. But to exploit it, I need to go over there. That's the problem. Uh, pawn forward works or not? Yeah, probably doesn't. Let's go here with the knight. The idea of going to c4 eventually. Giving away a pawn after he takes with the bishop. Do I have some knight maneuver here? Ah, that's a, that can be nice folk. Might work. If it goes to defend with the bishop, then we can go over here. That looks like one of the ideas. He's, he's tempting to take on the pawn. That's it, probably, for now. Which he does. I take. He takes back. If I move my queen to any other square, oh, he's going to take the pawn and spoil my castling for sure. So if I go here with a check, he takes my queen and then he loses the knight and then he moves his king. I lose my knight as well. That's okay, right? Looks fine. So that's check first. He has to save. And I can take on his queen here. He can take mine. I take back. The, the, the trade was fine. Now we can castle or just place the king up. That's better. Let's go up. I have to take, make the rook more active. Rook over here, attacking the pawn. It pushes the pawn forward in the next move. So do I. If he takes, I can take with the knight, probably. Oh, I can take this pawn first with a check, and then it weakens up this as well. Probably I can win back my pawn that I lost. Oh, he defends the position. Well done. I take the pawn. Okay. Uh, rook lift is helpful, I, I wonder. I have to make use of the knight more effectively. Knights are good in these positions. Over here I can't do much. Now I can go here with the ideas of going with a check. He saves the check, but I can still go with the knight. Good option. In a controlling square. Let's see what he plays. You can go here and attack the bishop. I have to win a pawn somehow to equalize this position. Okay, he plays the pawn forward. Of course, I can't take that. Let's go up. Nah, this is tricky. Let's let's lull him down to take to move it forward. He doesn't fall in the trap. Got isolated pawns instead, but it's fine. He has got double pawns too. Let's put the king ahead. Give the check. Have to move this time. No other option. Ah, I have a trick maybe no, not really i have to safeguard my knight there could i have given a check probably yes okay he gives me a check i have to go back time is running i have to find some good moves over here and ah oh, damn it why does he save the folk every time can I fork him? 
No, I can't. So I'll just exchange the rooks. Try to play fast. Takes, takes. Okay, I'll push my pawn forward on dark squares because he has got the light square bishop. Move towards the knight. I can take that pawn. Okay, go here, take this pawn. You can push his pawns forward. I have to go over towards him. Okay, where do I go? Here. Stops everything for now. Pawns on dark squares. Check. Go back. I have to find some way out. Is there one? Probably not. Go here. I have to sack the right. Another option there. Ah, oh, that's losing. Phew, that was close, I would say. Could have done better maybe somewhere, but a stronger player there. You're pretty much equal in the game, probably just a pawn down. Yeah, sometimes it's more than enough. If you just analyze the game quickly once, we'll see. Start off with e4, I played the Garukan defense, c6, knight to c3, I played d5, he takes on the pawn, take back, standard moves in the Garukan, developing the light for a bishop to f5. On to e6, open plays a3, passive I would say, but he's trying to remove, make sure that the bishop doesn't pin his knight ever in the future, so that makes sense. So do we, because even we are afraid of the bishop coming here and not actually afraid, but more of annoying move by the opponent. Plays dark square bishop to f4, I develop the knight to c6, queen comes up, I get to offer him a bishop exchange, which he denies. I developed the knight to f6. So pretty standard moves here, and we are ahead in the game despite white gets the initial advantage in the opening. So these all moves are pretty good. Uh, trying not to give that pawn. Oh, I had that free pawn. I missed it. That was a good chance. Okay, I just defend my bishop there. He takes. I take back with the knight. What do I have to take with? Uh, what's the question here? Uh, taking with the pawn was better as for the computer as well. I was wondering, I was calculating at that point of time to take with the knight or the pawn. Uh, taking with the pawn gives you a double pawn and if he castles on the queen side in the next move, probably the best move for him as well. And then probably the, the double pawns can hamper you in the end game. That was the problem. But I could have taken that free pawn. That's what I'm regretting right now. But it's okay. I can make sure that I don't miss it next time. I took on with the knight in the game. He goes back with the knight. I take on the bishop, the best move there. Uh, still, I think we are decent enough in the game. Despite being a pawn down, we try to attack the pawn with the queen. That's a bad move because, yeah, my knight is going on a bad square. He should have taken the pawn there. That was where I was, what, uh, was worrying me, but he doesn't. He cancels. Um, I try to make sure that my knight is out of the way uh, of defending the pawn on h5. Opponent plays c3 here, and I got my knight back. Uh, I should have actually castled here. So wanting to castle, but didn't get time in the game there. Trying to go ahead with my plan of forking the queen over there. Yep, that's what I I took on the rook first. Okay, three packs. I forked the king and queen over there. He saves, I take, he takes my queen, I take with the pawn, takes with the king. So, you know, decent enough game st still, I would say. It's 0.6 in the favor of white, but that's not much. Uh, placing king on e7, he gets his rook active, I also do the same. It's a draw game from here, I can, I can pull it back. Why couldn't I? Where's the flaw? Exchanging the pawns, I did. And then pushing for the other pawn there. Oh, I went with the knight instead, trying to find some knight moves. As I was saying in the game, try to make sure that I can utilize it better. But I couldn't. He takes the pawn there, and he's an advantage from there on. Okay, I go up. He gives a check. I have to move. I'm on a bad square there. Yes, I could have given a check from here, but there was not much follow-up even after that, because his bishop is probably controlling everything. 
sorry, that's what, that was a mouse slip there. Uh, giving a check, he goes to safety. What do we do next? We defend the, the knight over there. If he comes down, we have to move away. His bishop is more active. 3.4 in the favor of white. He has got pawn as well, who, which will probably be promoted. Even if we stop, then he has lots of pieces lined up. Bishop can uh, give a discovered attack on the rook sometime. Doesn't look promising for, for black from here. But I try to hang in over there and find some moves. But the opponent played pretty well in the end. So should have taken there, but I was pre moving as I was losing on time as well. And placing my pawns in the dark squares, which you should if the opponent is a light square bishop. Saved my knight there, then went for the pawn. But that's that's probably it. There was no way that I could have won it from there on. Losing, yep. And I lost some time as well. Was losing on the position too. Uh, probably could have done better somewhere in the middle at the end. Probably if not in the middle game. Yes, that free pawn that I could have taken in the center could have been a crucial change uh, moment in the game. But yeah, we will try to play better next time. Thank you so much for watching this and take care. Bye-bye.